Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy back again, Chris freaking Starfire in the flesh, and we are back with another Arc Mobile video. Now, what we're discussing in um this video, we I pretty much started a new series where I talk about hacks and glitches for um Arc Mobile. So this glitch pretty much gives your plant an extra layer of armor. Now, pretty much all you most people do is they pretty much just put their plant in a high place and hope they can't reach it. But now we're get, we have a way to actually protect your plant. Of course, it can still be broken through, but it's gonna take the player or team more time. So as you see here, if you put a pillar right next to a stone foundation, it makes the one that snaps right next to it lower. So that's the first thing you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna need some thatch um, ceilings and a thatch frame and a, th um, and a thatch frame door and stuff like that. You can pretty much do this with any material. So let's go. Okay, first things first, you wanna put um, your thatch ceilings around the place the actual stone's gonna go. Um, the reason for this is because you have some issues with actually placing the stone and the crop plot because most of the times if you put the railing first, the crop plot doesn't fix fit right. And then if you don't put the railings first, the crop plot um, doesn't let the railings fit right. So it takes a little bit of a finger, but you know, whatever, it's not too hard. Okay guys, so this is where I kind of messed up. So now we're gonna have to destroy all the stone railings. As I said a few minutes ago, you don't want to put the stone railings first, but this is how it's going to look, except um, the crop plot's actually going to fit. So we're going to have to break down a few of them. So there we go, and um, it's about to snap alright, yeah. We've gotten everything out the way, and it snaps fine. So now comes the next part, not as hard. All you pretty much want to do is make sure the pillars are going on the thatch, not the stone, because... Um, yeah, on PC, I think on mobile, it pretty much just goes to the thoughts because there's no space. But I know on PC, you can mess it up in three places and put it on the wrong place. So we're just going to put another um, thought ceiling right here. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can just snap it right away. No, I can't. I need the ceiling. And we just place the ceiling right here where the stone used to be. And we just place this right here in Riguchi. So what comes next is the easier part. You pretty much just uh, place down your trap door or a trap door frame and then the trap door and then your plant and your Gucci from there and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So the hatch frame, you can pretty much use anyone from wood to stone to metal, but of course you wanna use the hardest one to break through, which is metal. Now, if someone really wanted to break this down, they're going to have to go from the base, which I'm guessing should be enough time to kill most teams if there are a bunch of them. Because they're not going to be breaking through a bunch of bases just to get into your base. So everyone obviously knows how to use a plant X seed. You pretty much place water and place as much fertilizer as possible because these are pretty much the most important plants you have. And the more fertilizer, the more and longer it can shoot, I think because they don't die is what I mean so we've added the water and I think all we are missing now is the fertilizer but by the way all you have to do is pretty much tap the very front to open it and you can pretty much just directly access the actual um, crop plot from the thatch door frame so what's gonna happen here is the plant should like glitch through so when it glitches through, it's kind of like it's protected, but not really. I think it has some hit points. As far as I know, I wasn't able to damage it. And uh, it kind of covers the actual crop plot, so you're not able to damage that either. As long as it's closed, of course, which your enemy player shouldn't be able to open it because it's yours. So it hasn't taken the fertilizer yet. Or, I mean, yeah, it hasn't started growing yet because I haven't given it water. So how this is gonna work is, let's feed it one a few more times. It doesn't really need the water right now. But you guys sadly aren't gonna see this plant growing up because um, it takes 12 in-game hours. And um, this is a single game, so you're not gonna see 12 hours. So right now it's pretty much protecting the, of course if it's open, I'm guessing you could break through, but as you see, 
it's the wrong um, hitbox. It's hitting the trap door instead of the actual crop plot. So if it was open, in theory, you still could probably get away with this. So it's protecting the actual thing, and most people are probably going to have to go through the base to actually get to this. Because it kind of looks like um, it's just a stone foundation. It pretty much looks like it's a regular stone foundation right now. So I'm guessing if anyone hasn't watched my YouTube video, um, they would probably think this is weird and what is this. And they're probably going to try and break through the roof. Meanwhile, it's actually a stone foundation. Actually, you don't want them to break through the roof because then they get them there faster. So I'm hoping they're going to see the roof and think, oh, it's all um, stone around. So we're going to try through the sides. But if you have like a ton of these, it should be pretty good. Of course, the only way they're going to get in is if they have birds or some team that can climb. But for the average player, you can't really jump that high. I'm going to show you once we break everything off. But yeah, guys, this is pretty much extra armor for your X-Plant. As long as you have like 12 of these, it's going to take them a while. And plus turret turrets, you should be pretty good. But trust me, someone's probably going to find a way to raid you. As you guys know, I'm a PvP junkie and... I pretty much just find new ways to play on PvP, so this is pretty cool. I've been doing this since my PC days, and it looks pretty clean as well. Too bad I couldn't show you the plant growing up, though it looks still as cool. So this has been your boy, Chris Starfire. Seriously, don't forget to like and hit that sub button. It says good luck comes to people who hit the sub button of the Chris Starfire. So peace out. It's your boy. See you next video. Swoop.